This is the 14th and last video in a series intended to teach you how to use the features of the Family Search Research Wiki to find genealogical records for your ancestors who live in Germany. In the course of your research, when records are not available online, it will be necessary for you to write to civil registration offices, churches, or archives to ask for searches for the records you require. This Germany letter writing guide will help you with any kind of request that you might want to make. It begins with an outline of the letter, and then for each section of the letter, it gives you the various statements you need to make or questions you need to ask in both English and German. In earlier lessons, I went into detail about how to find and write the address for these letters. I will repeat those instructions at the end of this video in case you didn't see them in earlier lessons. So the guide will now go through each section of that letter it will give you the German names of the month, so you can put your date at the top. It will tell you how to say, Dear Sir or Madam, Dear Pastor. In the introduction section, you are explaining to them that your intent is genealogy and that you believe your ancestors came from that area. You then give them as much information as you can about the ancestor you're looking for, you do not have to include all of these, just include the ones that you know. And then you will see a wide range of genealogical requests. You can ask for birth records, you can ask for marriage records, you can ask for more information about a family, you can ask them to send photocopies if they have them. Then in the next section, you are asking, them, can they refer you to someone? The first one being, if they don't have the records, can they perhaps tell you where the records would be? And the second one being, if they can't do the research, can they recommend a local researcher who could be paid to do it? There is a section where you arrange for payment. If you're dealing with a church, send a donation in your first letter and then ask them how they would like you to pay for further research. For a government office, you can just ask them to explain how they would like to be paid. Then, of course, you thank them and say sincerely and provide your return address. There is a section for responding to the letter when you get an answer for them where you thank them for what they did and then you say, I need more information. Then you choose from the requests above in the request section and tell them the additional information you'd like. For a letter to archives, you do not need to address a specific person. Just put the archive address and the greeting would be Dear Sir or Madam. You go to the German Wikipedia and enter your town name. You will know your town is too small to have its own office if this sentence mentions that it is part of a municipality. Click on the link to the municipality. Once you find the municipality, over here on the right in the info bar, you will find the municipal administration address. Copy this address on your province page. You will find the standard form for addressing a letter. Here's the information I found in the Wikipedia for Ada Ramunda. I just substitute the street name and the postal code and the town. And there is the address I will write to. Particularly the section on locating church records. If you don't now know your parish, go back and work your way through that lesson. Here are Lutheran and Catholic address finders. Here is the address finder for the Lutheran Church. It lists the different towns and the chapels. Click on your parish, and at the bottom you will find the website, its placement on a map, and the address. Copy that address. The next part of the province page will tell you how to address the letter. Here's the address I copied from the address page. Here is the form I put it in. I replace the lines in the form with the address information I have, and there is my address for writing. 
Now you try it. You should first study these lessons and follow instructions to ascertain whether the records can be found online. That will save you time and money. Use the three sections at the end of this video to help you address your letter. Then following the outline, compose the letter that you need using the German sentences given. Find a bank in your town that will prepare a cashier's check in the name of the parish in euros to enclose as a donation.